You know, I was so surprised and impressed and moved by the passion that you have for gender equality. Um, I don't think people know what a strong stance you've taken on pay, equity, um, tough on men who don't seem to get it. Um, I certainly agree with you, but it's not often that you see men uh, taking it on the way you do. Why? It's, it's important. Why? And I, I see the, the negative results of it when I look where the majority of the Muslims in the world live and the way they treat women. Okay, the Quran says that women should be able to choose their husbands, that they should be able to petition for divorce, uh, that they should be able to inherit and own property. And most importantly, the Quran says that uh, they are partners to men. And if you go into any part of what is called the Muslim world, those rights are not acknowledged. And this is out of the Quran, something that these people who say they are so Islamic, they don't honor this. And they're doing a disservice to their faith and they, they don't acknowledge that issue. It's horrible mm -hmm. and uh, it, it shouldn't be happening. And um, chauvinism takes a different form here in America, but uh, the glass ceiling where women don't get paid uh, what they should get paid uh, and it's, it's more difficult for them to advance because uh, they're women. Uh, they get charged because their clothes are different from male clothes, so the, the people at the, at the dry cleaners charge them more money. This is absurd. And um, it's, it's just discrimination, and oh. it needs to stop. Well, listen, that's...